This one's about not neglecting certain skills. Now, I had a good chat with uh, a personal trainer last, well, oh, early this week, sorry, and it's kind of a conversation that I have all of the time, but this one was just really, really top of mind. So I wanted to uh, talk about it today and how important it is to understand this, to know this, and there's just too many people neglecting it. And as a result, it's a recipe for disaster. So I'm gonna go through the tip of the week. If you've got any questions at all, comment down below. I'll answer them afterwards as well. If you are there, give me the thumbs up once again, and let me know where you're dialing in from and how the weather is as well. It's always good just to see where people are dialing in from and um, all around the world, we've got loads of different faces here. Awesome to see so many people on the, on the session. So, jumping straight into the tip of the week. Now, the skill, Christian, awesome to see you there, mate. Hopefully you're well. The skill that you cannot neglect or is an absolute recipe for disaster that I wanted to talk about today, guys. Now, way too many people, way too many trainers are great trainers, but are terrible marketers and are terrible at sales conversion. You don't have to be great. Shauna, awesome to see you there too. You don't have to be a great salesperson. You have to be able to convert leads into clients. You need to be able to market. Now, there is three key skills to any business, whether that's an online fitness business, whether it's a face-to-face -face business, whether that's you own a, a cafe, you're a barista there, or whatever it might be. And that is ability to market and attract customers, ability to convert those people into paying customers, and the right systems to deliver that product or the service. There's only three key things. And unfortunately, there is so many phenomenal trainers out there, so many phenomenal you know, experts that have a, a, a massive message to, to tell and can impact and change hundreds and thousands of lives around the world. Phenomenal trainers, Phenomenal around the delivery side of things. So whether that's face-to-face, -face, whether that's online, you know your shit. You know how to help people. And as a result, you're a great trainer. You can get great results for your clients. But unfortunately, the other two skills out of the three, so you've got that one skill nailed. And this is a very, very common thing. You've got that one skill nailed. But the other two skills are neglected. And as a result, you can be the best trainer in the world and you could, your message, your programs, your expertise could change lives, absolutely change lives, you know, health, uh, their perspective, where they are, get them to their goals. But unfortunately, you don't get anywhere because you can't get your knowledge in anyone's hands. You can't get your service or your product in anyone's hands. Now, if you have the best product in the world and you're the best trainer in the world, but you can't get any any clients, then you're not gonna help anyone. You're, not, you're gonna help no one. Why? Because you can't get a client to deliver that information, deliver that service, or whatever it might be to change a life. And um, there is way too many people that go, oh, you know, I'm a great trainer, or I'm a great X, or I, great, I, I, I know lots about Y, and uh, I'm not really a marketer, or, or, or I don't really wanna learn how to do Facebook or Instagram ads, or I don't want to know how to generate leads through free strategies, and I don't want to learn out, you know, more about communication and converting. I'm going to put that up, put that in someone else's hand and expect someone else to take uh, a, a, a take care of that for me. I'm just a great trainer, and um, that's all I'm going to do. And I've got a friend down the road who knows a little bit about Facebook. Um, you know, did a two hour course 10 years ago and I'm gonna pay them to take care of that part for me because that's not me and that's a headache and I'm just gonna stay good at what, I, what I'm doing. Guys, it's a recipe for disaster. I had a good chat with a, with a bloke in Australia early this week and he lost $8,000 through this, this format. Great trainer, phenomenal knowledge. Just wanted to work on his product, wanted to work on his service, and couldn't, you know, spent so much time, so much energy there doing that. Come up with this phenomenal product, but then used all his energy and his focus and his time to do that. And then when it came to marketing and actually getting that out in hands 
and transforming lives. Oh, I, I don't know if I can really be bothered to do that. I'll, I'll just get someone else to do that. I'll put my future in someone else's hands. And what, what happened? His friend or guy that he met through a friend of a friend of a friend who knew someone's dog who uh, lived down the road and was a advertising uh, guru or whatever the hell it might, whatever the hell that means, um, did his ads for him and he lost $8,000 in spend on advertising. And it wasn't until I chatted with him yesterday and he revealed this, he opened up about it and said, man, Chris, I, I, I heard so many videos talking about the skills that I needed to have, the skills I needed to own to be responsible for my future. And I, I neglected it and I didn't listen. But after having that painful experience, he's jumped in, he's now learning how to do advertising and he's crushing it. And he's loving it, to, 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 to be even more clear. He's getting leads, he's getting clients, he's understanding it all, he's understanding now where the other guy had no idea what he was doing wrong, why he lost all of that money, because he had no idea before. He couldn't even manage the guy who was the expert, wasting all his money, losing all his money. There are so many people out there that are Facebook advertising gurus or lead generation gurus or, or Facebook bot messenger gurus who, guys, they've probably done a course for an hour or two and and then going around and trying to just get clients. And if you're putting your future in, in those types of people's hands, unfortunately it's a recipe for disaster and you're not taking control. You're not taking responsibility for your future. Why the hell would you put your future success in another person's? There's three key things you need to own and you need to know. Yes, once you know them, and you understand it to a level and you've done it, you can leverage it out to agencies, to an expert, to, to whatever it might be, but you can leverage it at that stage because you understand it, you know what to look out for, and you know the traps to look out for, and then you can understand if the person's got no idea what they're doing or, or, or if they're awesome. You will be able to identify that in the first day rather than losing $8,000 and then looking up and going, hmm, Maybe I should have questioned this guy a little bit more to see whether he actually knew what he was doing or not. Don't let your bank account, the losses in your bank account tell you. Become skillful in that, in that aspect first and foremost. Know what to look out for, know how to get results. Then you can leverage your time if you want, if you want. But guys, there's only three skills you need to have, you need to know, and you can grow any business anytime around the world. You, if you own those three skills, you are such a powerful individual. People will happily pay you to help create their businesses because they can't be bothered and they are looking for someone else or whatever it might be. But once again, you will have those skills to grow your own business to whatever level you want, whenever you want. You'll be able to turn it up, turn it down, have a break, go on holidays, come back with confidence knowing that you can literally switch it back on. And that's true freedom. Putting your future in someone else's hands. Recipe for disaster, it is not, that is, that is not the way businesses are built. And that's why having, in those three skills, paying an agency or paying someone else to own that, to do that for you is a recipe for disaster. You need to learn, you need to own, you need to be efficient in that skill then you can grow a business. Client attraction, client conversion, client delivery. And that can be a product delivery, that can be a face-to-face -face training service, that could be selling coffee, that could be mowing lawns, that could be anything. But client attraction, client conversion, client delivery, that's all that matters. But unfortunately, too many people only go, well, I'm just going to spend all my time, all my energy on client delivery. Um, why? Because, you know, people are scared of new things or, or that's the easy thing to, to, to do just because you know that. You already know how to train people. You already know how to impact lives. The other stuff you need to learn and that's what's actually going to get you from where you are today to where you want to be. Christian, let's comment down below here. 
I paid 3K for a website just before I found TribeFit. Wish I found you first. Learned so much in the first week working with you. You changed my business forever, mate. I appreciate the kind words. You're an absolute legend, mate. You're doing the work and you deserve the results you're getting. And 3K for a website, that's exactly the trap that I was talking about a second ago. You know, the person, websites don't cost that much. The person that probably built that for you probably did an hour or two course at some stage and, and someone said, yeah, go try and sell websites. Like, a website is, is, is not the solution to what you need, guys. You, client attraction, client conversion, client delivery. Christian, you're an absolute legend. You're doing the work. You're on the path. You, you're on the journey, mate, and you deserve all the results you're getting. And uh, that's just an, an absolute reminder of, of the traps that are out there, guys. You know, awesome logos, awesome branding, awesome websites, awesome photos, and, and, and you know, training for 12 weeks to get in a crazy prep, shredded so you can take those photos. All of those things are kind of around the periphery. They're around the periphery. Then. Yes, at some stages they can be important, but once again, logos, the amount of people I speak to are like, oh, Chris, I'm ready to start my business maybe in six weeks' time because I'm working on my logo right now. And um, I paid someone three, four, five grand that's gonna do a phenomenal logo for me, and as soon as that's finished, I'm gonna be ready to start growing my business. <laughs> logo's not necessary. That time, that energy, that money could have been used to build your business, to grow your income, make multiples back on that through investing it either through free client getting strategies, your time, or through paid client getting strategies, Facebook ads, Instagram advertising. So know about your priorities, know about the three key things you need to focus your energy and time on. If you know how to get a service already, uh, and a result, sorry, already with your clients, don't just sit there with your energy and your time. I understand that's the safe space. That's where most people want to hang out because that's what they understand, that's what they know, that's where they want to stay, the safe space. But guys, the other areas of, of you know, personal development going in areas that uh, aren't potentially, uh, or are kind of scary, success is found in the areas that are scary. Why? Because if success was found in doing the things you're already currently doing, then you'd already be massively successful. So you wouldn't have to learn anything more. And, you know, as the saying goes, insanity, um, the, I'm trying to think of the quote off the top of my head, but the um, definition of insanity is doing the same thing day in and day out and expecting different results. I'll say it again. Definition of insanity is doing the same thing day in and day out and expecting a different result. And it's just like that's in business, that's in life, that's in training. You know, if you think about it, if you had a training program and you did that for, for six months and you got no results, well, doing it for another six months is not going to get you any results. That's the definition of insanity. Assuming if you do it for another six months that somehow results are going to happen, definition of insanity, you need to do something different. You need to do something new. You need to do something that potentially scares you. But that's where success, success is found. Anyways, that's it from me, guys. If you've got any questions, comment down below. I'll give it a couple of seconds. Out here on the balcony, the weather is beautiful, as you can see. Got the, the T-shirt on and went for a surf this morning. It was beautiful. Any questions, comment down below, guys. Otherwise, I'll give it another couple of seconds. Otherwise, that's it from me today here. Uh, you forgot key point four. <laughs> Awesome hair. How's your hair always so on point, mate? It's literally, um, look at that. <laughs> it's definitely not on point. That is that is lit straight out of the surf hair. That's what pretty much that is. Zach looking good, Chris, mate. Ah, oh, guys, not much I can say about that. It's literally straight out of the water. A little bit of salt in, in the hair, maybe. Zach, still wanting to go online, mate. Make the, take the action <laughs> and beard. Ah, oh, thanks guys. So many positive comments this morning. My head's gonna get too big to fit back through the door to get into the office. Zach, mate, take the steps, push forward, and it doesn't mean you need to take massive le leaps or bounds into it. Take that first step, that's all. You know, look at something, watch a webinar, check out my webinar, um, start 
communicating to people. You know, check out a couple more videos and think about your packages, your offer. At least take that first step. Haven't watched the whole video, but we'll go back and watch it. Legend, mate, legend. Check out the webinar. It'll tell you specifically what to focus on. And guys, it, it doesn't mean you need to take a massive leap. If you're looking to go online, you don't have to take a, a, you know, a massive leap and, I don't know, um, join TribeFit or whatever. Like, you don't, I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying I want each and every one of you who wants to do online to at least take one step in the right direction. You know, that is going to head you in the right direction. And that could be as little as just watching the webinar and then taking action after it. Watching information and not taking action will get you nowhere. But absorbing information, then taking action is what it's all about. So you can take baby steps. You can run straight into it and make it happen. No matter what it is, as long as you're moving forward, I am happy. So guys, do that. Take action this week in the direction of where you wanna go. That's it from me today. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. It's Thursday here. So if it's Thursday where you will have a great Thursday, if it's Wednesday night, have a great Wednesday night as well or whatever time it is for you. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Have a great week. Any questions, reach out. That's it. Bye for now and bye, bye from my, my hair. See you guys.